Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. And yeah, check out the top right eye as well. Maybe you'll find something interesting there. But in this video, what I want to do is create a generate function. So we're going to do something fun. All right, we're going to generate a weapon. And I want to make sure every weapon is forced to have this generation uh, item generation function and what you want to do then is you want to go to your weapon.h go down here and we're going to create a nice little function called virtual and uh, maybe we're going to put it yeah we'll keep it here virtual void generate okay and this is going to be specific for weapons it's not going to be really for items right now we will change that as soon as we get armor and things if we notice that we need that. But for now, we'll keep it like this. So unsigned, we'll have two variables, const unsigned level max, const unsigned level min equals zero. Good. So this is going to be forced upon each weapon class to have. Okay, anything that derives from weapon will be forced to have this so we'll start with melee weapon and we'll go ahead and do a void generate how do you spell that generate and copy these values from your weapon.h to your melee weapon.h paste them in here and you're good to go very good very good define this it's very important so you define this in melee weapon.cpp and you'll have that there <clears throat> I'll keep it in melee weapon since, yeah, I don't, I don't probably won't have anything special in sword. If you have something special in sword or whatever, you can go ahead and put a virtual on this and fix that in sword if you want a specific one. But it's not forced. You can have it in weapon. Let's go to sword.h and just make sure there's nothing there. Good. That's how I want to keep it. Go to your CPP file. And just make sure that's defined, otherwise you'll get an error. Now we want to do the same thing in ranged weapon. Because if we don't, we'll have a big problem. Go ahead and do a void generate. And I'm going to do the same thing. Virtual void generate. Paste those two parameters and semicolon that B. So boom, boom. I don't know what I did. Boom, boom. Swag straight up. Good, 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 good. Have it in the CPP, boom, and you're good to go. So in your ranged weapon CPP and H, it should pretty much look like this, okay? Make sure you have this. Don't worry about anything else. As long as it's defined, you're fine. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, very nice. And it's not supposed to be a const because you're going to change some values in here. I want you to run this and make sure it runs so you don't get any weird, uh, what do you call it? inheritance errors so run it even if it takes time run it make sure everything looks fine your game works fine boom 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 you can hit all the enemies boom boom good and then next step is going to be to go into your weapon.h or no your melee weapon.h and we're gonna do the generation but since we have different values for ranged weapon and melee weapon that's why we're going to double define this and then we'll probably add some new stuff to ranged weapon, which we don't have in melee weapon, which will cause a problem. But still, I'll, I'll do this here. Um, let's do this. Generate this. So we have a level max and a level min. This. God damn it. Level. Oh, we need a level. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what we need is this is going to be item throughout item I think so we want a short type we want an unsigned level here as well and we need to fix this first let's go ahead and close all but this here so item.h is open we added unsigned level go to your uh, item.cpp and we'll see how we do this so we're doing a value here this is going to be quite a big change I'm sorry about this guys but we need to set a level here unsigned level 
equals... Uh, no, we have to give it a level. And a value. So this is going to be quite a big change. Since we have to redo a few things. But bear with me because this is going to help us out a lot in the end. So put your level in the CPP here as well. Go ahead and do this level equals level. And there you go. Your base class is done pretty much. You don't have to worry about it. We need to go into weapon.h though. And we need to make sure we're getting a level here as well. So unsigned level. Uh, unsigned. I think the level should come first. And then all the damage stuff. Good. So you opened your weapon.h. Added these two values here. Weapon.cpp. Added the level value here. Added that level here in the in that constructor call. Good. Same thing here, guys. In the next constructor for weapon level. Boom. Not too hard, right? It's just tedious. It's just tedious, guys. So there you go. Level in range weapon. Dot h. Go to your range weapon CPP. Add that in there. Boom. Level. Not too hard, okay? Not too hard. Just tedious. Same thing in bow.h. Level. Here you go. Put a level there. And then say level in there. Last last little stretch here, guys. Uh, add it to your call here. And then to mill weapon. And then add it to the CPP as well. Level to that call. And final one, sword. Put level in there and a unsigned level right there. Boom. Oh my god. Such tedium. Holy crap. All right. Really sorry about this. I should have planned level from the start. So now each item is going to have a level. Whew. Good, 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 good. So hopefully you follow through with that and you should be good. Now we can go finally to our weapon.h. Close all of this and we'll look at the generate function or your melee weapon.h and cpp. Here we go. Good. This level equals a random between. Okay, we got to do the same thing here as we did with the weapon damage. Level max and a little max minus level min plus level min like that so that will be if we have a max level of five minimum level of two we'll have a three here we'll have a plus one in here as well good and then whoops i didn't want to do that okay and then level min so between five so this will become a three at minimum or at max plus two so you'll get anything between that okay uh, you'll see you'll understand as it goes along try to think about this if you don't understand it and write a comment i'll try to explain it better but it should be fine so we'll have that we'll have a damage min equals this level so now we need to do some kind of a randomization here. This level multiplied by, okay, uh, let's see. Multiplied by, I don't know, we'll set to something, okay. Uh, rand two plus one, something like that. And multiply level with that, we'll see. We'll up with something more clever than this later damage max is maybe we'll set a three here so it'll be a little larger okay and minimum one and uh, good 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 same thing plus this damage min you want to do that so it doesn't get below this okay it doesn't want to get, get below this, otherwise you're gonna get weird numbers. So make sure you have a plus damage min here, and then it will multiply that. So we'll get a little extra on here. Good. And then we'll have this value equals this level 
plus this damage min plus this damage max. So all the values together, okay? Everything together will come to this. Plus this range plus rand, let's say rand level multiplied by 10. Something like that will give us a nice little value number here for gold. Good. And we do have one more thing left. We have the range left. So I'm going to do that here. Now this range equals this level plus rand. Okay, plus rand. Am I even recording right now, bro? Okay, good. So this will be the last thing we do. This rand... Uh, let's do 60. Oof, oof. Okay. So let's say 10 plus 50. So it can be at least 50 and it will randomize that. Okay. So it'll be at least 50, but something plus that. So we're good to go. We have our generate here. Now we can do this. We can go ahead into player. Player, player, player. CPP, good. And we're just gonna set a level to one here. Now this was the default, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this sort dot or generate. Minimum level one, maximum level three, good. And now we'll run this. Now it will have generated when we create that sort. We wanna make sure we create a sort generated through a, a nice, ooh, wow, okay. Yeah, that's a big number, ooh, that's crazy. Okay, that's crazy. So before we end here, I want to check that STDC out. Or let's go into sword generate. Sword, 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 weapon, melee weapon. And melee weapon CPP. And let's see this STDC out this level. Good. Damage min, this damage max, this range, and then this value, this value. Good, 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 good. Now, let's see what happens. So as soon as we generate it, it will be created in new game and we have to pause this execution. Okay, so 44 was the level. Very interesting. Uh, 88, 32. Oh, that's why that was so huge. Okay, so that's very interesting. Level max, level min. So how did I do that? I did that the wrong way. Okay, let's, let's just before we end the video, let's do this to min. And this to max. And in weapon.h, this is where we have to change this. Sorry about this, guys. Ugh, min, max. Good. Min, max. Uh, also, min. Okay, max. Min, max, min, max. Min, max, min, max. Min, max. Okay. Good. Now we just, just so we don't forget, we need to do the same thing in range weapon. Min max and the H file here. Min max. Good, good, good. Okay, so we should be good, guys. I'm sorry about this. Run this again. And boom. Now you should be getting some normal numbers. Yes. Let's see up here what we got. So level three, six, nine, fifty three, ninety one. That seems more legit to me. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Make sure you change these in all of these files that you're seeing up here. OK, weapon dot H, middle weapon, middle weapon, CP, range weapon, range weapon, CPP. Change that. OK, just switch min to max. So we have the same consistency between these two things. OK, we'll always have min first. Good, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Sorry for the sluggish video.
uh, yeah, but <laughs> just check it. Just skip through the video again and make sure you do that correctly. And thanks. Check out the top right. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one, right? Bye-bye.